Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog. How the fuck are we doing today, guys? I'm doing sexy and awesome. Thanks for always asking. Ah! It feels like it's been ages since I've seen you motherfuckers. That's because it has been ages. Well, actually, it's only been a couple days, but in actual reality, it's it's been a while. What has not already been doing? I've been kind of busy just with offline IRL shit in general. So, therefore, like I said, IRL takes precedence over RuneScape. Kind of sucks, but that's really how it goes. Some people think of it being the other way around. You, you, no, 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 no. This game is good, but Jagex wants you to sit on the computer and play the game all day long. Because then Jagex will hook you in, and woo! Jagex is a naughty little bitch. Alright, so anyways, I uploaded a new merchant guide today. Um... Rather, 2007 Merchanting Money-Making Guide. Basically, every week I'm going to be making a merchanting guide slash tip video. Because right now, the market is set up so fucking beautifully on uh, RuneScape that merchanting is, well, pretty goddamn fucking good. <laughs> that old, yeah, that's, it fucking really is. My, my computer screen is fucking dirty. Um, oh, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise... Haven't really done too much on RuneScape, got like a fishing level and shit. Um, as for other shit in general, I actually was watching some movies on Netflix. If you guys ever see the the, the Haunted House of the Whaley House, don't watch it. It fucking sucks. Um, another one is Hansel and Gretel, the 2013... Well, there's, two, there's the movie Hansel and Gretel that went to the theaters... And then there's like a shittier one that went to Netflix. Don't watch the one on Netflix because it's a, it's take my advice, it's a crappy fucking movie. Um but otherwise, yeah, I I I've watched like the two movies in the past like a few days and both of them have been kind of crappy and shit. <laughs> oh, not a good time, not a good time. I'm really getting shafted from fucking movies and stuff. Otherwise, tonight I'll basically be on RuneScape doing some fishing and doing some shit in general. Just really have to go out and get some fucking food because I'm starving. Uh, not to mention fucking... What else? Oh, yes, yeah, going to be uploading new RuneScape video later this evening as well. And tomorrow, yep, uploading new shit as well. All right, guys, but otherwise, yesterday, or rather uh, last night, late in the evening, uploaded a video that I kind of really want to talk a little bit more about. Basically, gambling is now banned on RuneScape. <laughs> it's actually somewhat of a historical thing for Jagex to actually really step in and fucking uh, ban gambling. And uh, I, I, me personally, I thought that Jagex would never do it. Uh, but then again, I kind of thought that Jagex would never take away the Grand Exchange at the same time. But, what, I mean... Jagex really has their own reasons for banning gambling. One of the reasons being is that there are fucking people on 2007 servers with over 100 mil. And the only way they could have gotten 100 mil is if they were hosting, gambling, doing, you know, whatever and shit. Um, that's the only fucking possible way. And, uh, yeah, it does fucking affect the market a lot. And it really does affect a, a lot of other shit on this game and for Jagex, you know, at the same time. Like, for example, and this is where YouTube videos could become kind of like a political type battle and shit. Mainly because, I, I, like, for example, this might be a bad analogy, this might be a good analogy. Uh, but either way, it's a fu What the fuck was that? God damn it. Alright. Fucking, uh... Shit. Alright, so anyways... Son of a bitch! Damn it! <laughs> fucking text messages from hell! Ugh, I kinda wish fucking text messages were fucking banned and shit. Alright, so anyways... <laughs> um... I just totally lost my train of thought. Um, oh yes, fucking... Okay, so this is kind of like a little bit of a bad analogy, but at the same time, it's somewhat of a good analogy. Like, for example, if marijuana was legal in every single state in the United States, it's, it's legal in some states for a very small amount, but if marijuana was legal in every single fucking state, the court systems, not only the court systems, but a lot of people would fucking suffer. Um, mainly because... 
if they legalize fucking marijuana, think about it. Courts will make less money because they will have less cases to deal with. Um, police officers will get probably less hours because, I mean, fuck, if you're in, you know, a town with no crime and you're just a fucking town police officer that buses people for underage drinking and having marijuana, if you no longer can, you know, give people a fucking ticket or arrest them for marijuana, you're going to have less things to do, which means police stations are going to cut your fucking hours. So everything gets affected. I mean, it's, it's one cycle of fucking chain events. It, it really is. Now, by Jagex banning dicing, it's very similar to, you know, I mean, it, okay, it's not, but at the same time, it really is. Because a lot of dicers, or actually, I take that back, probably most likely every fucking dicer out there sells their money on fucking, um, or, or, uh, railroad trades and shit. I mean, they, they sell their fucking GP and stuff. Because, in, I mean, for them to have, like, fucking over a hundred bill, why the fuck, it just doesn't make any sense why you would have a hundred bill on RuneScape. I mean, people get fucking, you know, greedy, and they just fucking sell their fucking GP for IRL cash. Um, so, keeping that in set and shit, by Jagex doing that... It's really stopping real world trading, but the only negative effect of Jag expanding dicing is probably you're going to have a whole bunch of people with a lot of cash uh, get banned. So the value of fucking, you see what I'm saying? It's, it's all about the value of the RuneScape GP is going to be really affected and shit. That's really the only negative thing. Um, if you guys remember fucking years ago, oh my god, I forgot the fucking name of this person. Um, but I know it was a female, and I know she had, like, over a thousand fucking Santa hats or some shit, and I remember that I'm pretty sure Jagex, uh, either banned her account or something, or something fucking happened, but it made Santa hats fucking actually go up in price, because, it, you know, everyone saw that a thousand fucking Santa hats were banned and shit, and, uh, that made Santa hats rise up significantly and shit. Um, but... The only negative thing is that it's going to affect the value of GP. Jagex cannot control the value of the fucking GP because if people see... I, I mean, first of all, there's no trade limit, so Jagex really can't, you know, fucking dictate that. But if people see fucking, wait a second, a whole bunch of fucking money is getting banned, that's really the only, you know, negative thing about it. Otherwise, there's actually really better positive things about ba gamblers being banned and shit. Like, one of the positive things is that there's no more motherfuckers with over 100 mil cash on 2007 RuneScape that just got their cash by fucking doing gambling. Um, another good thing about it is that there's no more spammers in around saying, hey, we're hosting, we're hosting, we're hosting, flower game, flower game, flower game. Now I mentioned it's scamming. I mean, there are a lot of people that get fucking scammed because of dicing and shit. So it's good that Jagex is stepping in, it just fucking took them fucking years and stuff, uh, which kind of sucks. But then again, I'm not Jagex, and Jagex is a wonderful, lovely company. Actually, no, they're not. <laughs> In my personal opinion, they're probably most likely not. All right, guys, but like I said, um, expect a new RuneScape video later and shit. But otherwise, just kind of really want to say hello, and we're back. <laughs> I am back. Woo, for vlogging. But otherwise, guys, um, that's basically pretty much about it, like I said. Otherwise, right now, I want to go to my email address where we have some happy hooba hooba questions from you motherfuckers. Ah, it's not much me, you who's because if you do well, gambling will come back, and then you gamble your balls away first. Hooba hooba question. Dear Nightmare RH, I'm writing to, to you to ask you a very simple question. When is your best guess on uh, 2007 RuneScape will become F2P, not, not paying players? I am staring on the forms and the 2007 server site, but I can't find anything. Can you please make a video and respond about this topic? Thanks. All right. Um, to my best knowledge, RuneScape 2007 servers are not going to be free to play because we did not get 750,000 fucking votes. We got 450,000, but Jagex rounded it up to 500k. So if you're a RuneScape member, you can play 2007. If you are not a RuneScape member, then you have to become a RuneScape member to play RuneScape 2007. Uh, so, 
Now, Jagex has said that they're thinking about fucking, uh, making it so some PKing fucking worlds for 2007, you can only use free-to-play items, like, uh, Rune and Below. No fucking supersets, no dragon weapons, etc., etc. As for making RuneScape 2007 fucking members only, I mean, I mean free-to-play as well, probably won't happen because Jagex is prof profiting a lot of money from bringing back 2007. I mean, think about it. All fucking old players that canceled their membership had to reactivate their membership to play 2007 RuneScape. <laughs> Jagex made fucking a good amount of money and they're making a, a decent amount right now and shit. So, yeah. But otherwise, guys, let me know some nasty, dear little comments if you think Jaggies will remake RuneScape 2007 F2P. Otherwise, I'll see you motherfuckers later. Bye!